What's up guys and welcome back to Stranded Deep. We are back on the home island. Had a very exciting day yesterday. Let's go ahead and stretch it out a little bit. This is going to be an insane day, dude. Today, September 29th, is going to be the day that we took flight. So in terms of transportation, you guys know we started with the little yellow life raft from our private jet. Then we moved on to that bad boy, but it was a smaller one. It was like a little three by one with one sail, one rudder, and one anchor on it. Then we built that thing up to the cargo ship that it is today, and then we built the little motorized boat a few episodes ago that we haven't really used all that much yet, but uh, we've got it there if we need it. And now today, we are gonna take to the skies. I'm actually really excited about this. So if we go over to our, uh, our vehicles here, you guys will see, we need uh, one gyro part for the frame, one part for the seat, and then we also need one for the rotor. So we need three gyro vehicle parts. We need two electrical parts, and then we need one fuel part, one filter part, and one engine part. So three gyro, two electrical, and then one of each of the other ones. So these are the gyros, I believe. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to make like a ton of these. So we've got that. We need two of the um, two of the electrical parts, right? So like two batteries here, and then we need an engine part. We need a fuel part, and what was the last thing? Filter part, right there. All right. So I I think I mean I think we might need a hammer. Let's go ahead and pick up a uh, a hammer here. I think we're good to go. I think we can make this thing. Now the question is, where are we gonna land and take off from? We obviously need a very flat spot. I was thinking about extending our dock here and making like a little helipad off the ends. I feel like that's a pretty good idea. I say we do that. I think we only need, I'm just gonna go kind of like off to the left of the end of where it currently is. And I, I think we're gonna be good. I think we only need two additional ones. I'm not sure how big this gyrocopter is. Maybe it's a lot bigger than what I'm anticipating, but I'm thinking that we might, um, we might just be able to build it off of here. So we're gonna go for a, a wood foundation here. We're gonna build it up. We might actually need two more. I don't know. I guess we can we can try building it and see what happens. We're gonna make a second wood foundation here, and then this can be uh I'll, yeah. I'm gonna say because this this here is kind of like our little fishing platform. I'm gonna say let's build two more so it's like off of the main walkway. It's just crazy to think about how far we've come, dude. Just seeing seeing all the stuff that we built, everything that we've achieved and accomplished. Every time I see that shark up on the beach, it makes me so happy. It makes me feel like a boss. So uh, anyway, we're gonna go with uh, another wood foundation here. This is gonna be, this is gonna be nice, dude. So we've got that, and then one final one we can put right here. Looks good to me. All right, so now we're gonna come in. We wanna go to our vehicles. We're gonna go to this. I, oh, we need to be level six to be able to do this, dude. I hate this new feature. Oh, it kinda slowed us down a little bit yesterday, too. We're currently a level, a level four, I think. I've gotta go build some random stuff, and I, I guess I'll see you guys in a little bit. By the way, we do have a, a fuel collector here. I'm gonna go ahead and extinguish this. We've got a, a decent amount of fuel in there, so let's let's go ahead and fill that up. Obviously, we're gonna need that for uh, for the chopper when we get there. But yeah, dude, that this is rough. We gotta work on on constructing some things. You know what? This actually it might be a blessing in disguise because I was I was gonna build a plank station anyway. So we're gonna need a hammer, a refine. Wow. This thing's pretty intense. I didn't realize I didn't realize how much this was gonna take. All right, so we need a refined axe, a hammer, four sticks, a wooden log, and a lashing. So the last thing we're gonna need here is a log. I mean, I don't, I don't love this, but I think we're gonna have to chop down some more trees on our island. You guys know I was always like very serious about that, wanting to keep our trees, our trees, so you don't have to, you know. We knock all of them down, we're gonna run out of shade and stuff like that. So you, you can't really regrow them. So you gotta be careful, but I guess we're gonna have to do it in this situation. I wanna be able to make some plank scrap on our own. Where's where's all our stuff at? I'm gonna come back over here. I guess we can we can build it. We can build it over here. Got a little campfire. We can make a hobo stove there and then we can put this thing right here. So here we go. Let's see if we can craft this bad boy plank station. We made it. Can I put it right here? Is that a good spot? Boom. All right, we've got a plank station now, boys. That's pretty exciting. So to be able to make planks, you need a log, I believe. How do you make planks? Where are those at? Right here. 
You need a log and a plank station. I wonder how many that gets you. We need to go back. I'm gonna grab an axe. I'm gonna cut down one more tree. Dude, that sucks. How are we gonna get logs back from other places is the problem. I don't think we should have built the plank station on the home island. I think we should have built it on a different island that we were gonna cut all the trees down on. That was, that was stupid. All right, well, we're, we're at least gonna try it out here. We wanted the XP for it, so we could take all the things that we need for a plank station over to another island, make the plank station, make a bunch of planks, and then bring them back. I think that's what our, our plan's gonna be eventually. Didn't really have the foresight to, to do that beforehand. So we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna craft some planks. You get one set of planks? Bro! That was an incredible waste. I'm like blown away at how wasteful that was. All right, well, we won't be doing that again. Holy, we're gonna have to go to a, like a wooded island. Once we get our gyrocopter, we could go to a wooded island, set this up, knock down all the trees and make some planks. Dude, that is insane. That makes me kind of sad. We just lost two trees for that, but whatever, dude. They made a sacrifice that will not be forgotten. Now, the reason why I wanted to make these planks is because we're gonna make some more shelves for this raft. This raft is, uh, it's our, our big Mac daddy, but it, it, it's just very inefficient with the way that we currently carry these things. So I was, I was just gonna kind of, you know, make some, some more shelves to be able to carry all these crates so that we won't have to worry about it anymore. And it looks like that's gonna be harder done than said. So we're gonna throw all that down. What we wanna do here is we wanna grab this hammer that I dropped. We're gonna put a floor on that and then we're gonna, we're gonna start building all the shelves on it. And that should give us some XP, hopefully to start getting towards, towards that level. Dude, ah, level six is a long way away. We're only level four right now, so this is gonna take a bit of time. But I think to make a floor, we just need, uh, we just need four sticks, right? Dude, we are burning through our row of sticks like nothing I've ever seen before. We also burned through all these leaves yesterday in our last episode. Not yesterday, two days ago. Um, making all those lashings. But yeah, dude, I don't know. We may even have to sail. We, we could just set this thing up, sail over to Shipwreck Island, cut down all those trees, do something with that. I don't know, we'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a wood floor. That looks good. And then we should have grabbed some plank scrap. We have enough to make two shelves, just two shelves. Yeah, dude, I, I think um, I think we're gonna we're gonna jet set boogie over to uh, over to Shipwreck Island over here. We're gonna we're gonna get some more plank, but at least we can make these for now, I guess. So we'll go over. We want crafting. We want the furniture section. I can't put these on the oh, I can't put them on the edges. Okay, we're gonna be able to put four of these on here, and then we could kind of extend it to get a little bit more, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if eventually it would start sinking because it gets too heavy. I guess we'll make it even for now. Boom, looks good. So we can carry six for right now. We just made our raft less useful than it was earlier, but it's gonna be worth it in the long run. So let's uh, let's throw these things on there. I can't believe that we we wasted all that stuff. I'm almost tempted to reload the save, but let, what, it's it's fine, dude. It's no big deal. We just need to go make another refined axe, another mallet, that sort of thing, and, uh, and then head out. All right, guys, we're off. Well, this is not what I was expecting to do to start this episode off, but that's fine. We're just gonna make a little, uh, a little logging camp over here on uh, good old Shipwreck Island. So this should be fun. Oh, shoot. Watch out for the rock. We always hit that rock. We missed it. Good stuff. This should be fun. I mean, it honestly, it is so nice to be able to just like walk around and not get stuck in the floor and stuff like that. And like imagine when we have like two more rows of these things. And then I say we start building out wings. Like we put two more there and two more there. All of a sudden we've got just a ridiculous amount of crates. We've got like 24 crates on one one ship. I don't know if it'll work. I don't know if she'll float if that's the case, but um, we're, uh, we're at least gonna give it a try. So we're gonna head over here, set up a logging camp. I did not bring aloe. That was not smart. Actually, hold on a second. We're missing the aloe crate. Dang it. When we did the transition, one of the crates went missing. It's back on the dock. That's all right, whatever, dude, we'll be fine. Might get a little bit sunburnt, but I think we're gonna be okay. This whole, I mean, I really like the, the XP system. And obviously once we get it to a point where we're, I mean, we're gonna rank all these up, so we're not gonna worry about it anymore. But I, I do think it's kind of silly that they, like for people who have already been playing and already like they're at a certain point, I feel like they should have kind of brought you up. The game could tell I've already built like the boat motors and everything else. Like it, we, we've already had vehicles made. So like, it, I feel like it should make it so that I can, I can just make new ones, but it's, uh, it's all right, man. It's, it's no worries. Go ahead and drop the anchor, looking good, okay. Um, let's grab, so in here, we don't even need our, our, what's it called? This is, oh shoot, I forgot. We brought a bunch of containers. We're cutting down this whole island. I don't even think there's really that many trees on it, but that's fine. So we have everything we need to make the plank station except a log and four sticks. So I'm just gonna cut this bad boy down, 
We're gonna cut one off to get the four sticks, cut another one off to get the log, then we can make the plank station, and then we can start start taking these things down. It, uh, it should be pretty good. I'm gonna pick up some of these young palms and stuff while we're here. It's not necessarily how I wanted to, not how I wanted to, to start the episode, but it's not the worst thing in the world either. Just thought of something pretty smart. So obviously you guys know with the, the tools, like you can, if you need a tool to build the next thing, like a, a, a workbench or whatever else, that tool can be down to like 0% use. So I'm gonna use the refined ax to cut down these trees. We're gonna bring all the logs over to where we're gonna make them. And we're gonna use this thing all the way down until it's almost about to break. Then we'll make the plank station. All the trees will already be there. It's it's the perfect storm. Love that this dude that's been living off of like coconuts and tiny fish meat can carry these giant trees. No problem at all, dude. It's it's kind of awesome. We're kind of a boss. Let me just pick this thing up, throw it around, dude. This this is perfect. We're gonna have so many planks. We're not gonna know what to do with them, dude. I'm just gonna strip this whole island, man. I I don't know what else to say. I, I feel kind of bad. The deforestation is a bad thing. You want to take care of the environment, but um, I mean, in this game, we we need as much as we can get. So I'm just I'm I'm going around. I'm gonna beat this this axe into submission. I'm gonna take everything I possibly can from it. We've taken down every tree on the island. We're about to make the uh, the, the plank maker thingy. And um, then we're gonna make some planks. We're gonna get out of here. All right, guys, I think it's time. 10 out of 10 environmentalists are so mad about this right now, but it's gonna be worth it. All right, here we go. So let's, um, we need, what all do we need here? I know we had to collect a couple things here on the island. Oh, we actually, I think we needed to make a, a lashing, didn't we? We've got a lashing. We're good. We can, I think, we should be able to make this. There we go, okay. It just wasn't working for a second. But we can throw it right like that, and then since we're looking at these things, can we do it? Oh yeah, planks, planks, planks on planks, baby. Let's go. We're gonna have so many planks, and we're crafting something, so it's, oop, I didn't wanna do that. I think we need to bring these things further in. Uh, we're crafting something, so it's gonna help out with our XP to be able to get to that gyro. That's ultimately the reason why we're doing this. This is just kind of like to give us something to do in the meantime. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab all these. We're gonna load everything up in the boat. We're gonna head back home and hopefully that gets us close to where we need to be. All right guys, so just a little update here. It is taking way longer than expected to, to rank up this last rank. So we're on level, level five. We need to get to level six. We hit level five while we were uh, getting the planks. We were making the planks. So I went home, put everything in, in their containers and everything else, and then we had to figure out what we were gonna keep on building. So I made like 30 spear gun arrows because we are gonna be taking on some of the boss fights here soon. There's a giant squid a megalodon shark and a, uh, there's a third one, a giant moray eel. So that's gonna be fun. I was like, we're gonna need some arrows. So I made a bunch of arrows, that didn't work. I, uh, I completed the boat here. You guys can see we've got two more containers. Ooh, day 47 survive, that's exciting. But uh, we've got two more containers here. That didn't work. We made all kinds of stuff. We made a lot of stuff that took up a lot of lashings and I, I need to go get more lashings now, or more, uh, more what's it called, fibrous leaves. So we're gonna go to all the islands around us, pick up some fibrous leaves. I honestly don't know, dude. Like, we could build another raft, but that's gonna take so many resources. I'm trying to do things that I know we're gonna need in the future, and I, I think making a ton of spear gun arrows is gonna be our best bet. Maybe even some, like, spears and stuff. We could do that. We could chop down a bunch of trees and make some spears. I don't know, man, this this is rough. Uh, the update's awesome, but it sucks having to, to rank up to do stuff you could have before. It's definitely a little frustrating. But anyway, I'm gonna go around, we're gonna get all the fibrous leaves we can, go back home, make some more arrows. Hopefully that puts us over. Well guys, it took a while, but uh, we finally made it happen. We are finally here, check this out. We are level six on our building, and uh, let's, let's go build ourselves a gyrocopter. So I tried to build it out there. Unfortunately, it wouldn't let us build it on top of a foundation. I don't know if they're gonna let us land it on a foundation. I'd be really upset if they didn't, because we already made that. I, I guess we just gotta, we gotta roll with the punches here. So let me pick up our hammer, and uh, we are gonna be good to go. Let's go ahead and bring all these together so we have them all in one nice little area. And uh, let's do it. Time to build our gyrocopter for the first time. So we are going to go with the frame here. Go ahead and, and make a little frame. Just uh, just like that. Dude. <laughs> Not a bad start. Okay, so we've got the frame. Now I'm going to say let's make the seat, of course. Put a nice little seat on there. Hopefully it's something relatively comfortable. She's starting to come together now. Uh, next up, we're gonna go for the motor. Let's go ahead and build a gyrocopter motor, which we're gonna stick on the back of the seat. Looks like that's where we put our gas in. After that, we are gonna go for the gyrocopter cockpit, which we're gonna put up here. Looks like it's got, um, 
It's got a compass on there, which is nice. And then finally, last but not least, we are gonna make the rotors, which we put right there. It's gonna use all of our things, and boom, that, my friends, is a gyrocopter. Are you serious right now? This is amazing, look at this thing. It's so light, I can just pick it up and do whatever I want with it. Let's, let's not break it though, Tra oh, okay, let's not, Trev, let's not break it. Okay, this is, this is harder than I thought. I can throw the gyrocopter, but I can't, no! I think she's okay. I'm just trying to flip it right side, oh, almost. So I've got uh, a couple of crates and then some, uh, some, some tools here. I don't know. I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to actually find anything or what, but I, I kind of, I kind of wanted to like, I feel like if you could scout clay from the air and like see it down in the water and stuff, that'd be really useful. Let's pick up this jerry can, refill it a little bit more. I think it's full now. And then we're going to be able to refuel this thing. All right. It's all the way full. That looks good to me. I'm going to go ahead and extinguish this fire. And I mean, what do you got? Do we just go for it? I'm gonna go save first. I, I don't know how to fly it. I don't know what the controls are. It makes me a little bit nervous. And we're back, baby. Here we go. All right. Are you guys ready for this? E to start. All right. The engine started and we're going up. Oh my goodness. So space, space is to, uh, oh, look, there's some clay right there. You can see it. Space is to increase your altitude. W is forward. You can turn with, with A and D. S is backwards. All right, it's it's pretty easy, dude. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't know we had clay literally right there. How do you go down, though? Control? Control is down. Let's go, dude. Coming in for kind of a hot landing. Oh! Dude, I... I've got a feeling she's pretty tough. Based on what I've seen so far, I've got a feeling she's pretty tough. I think she can kind of handle some of the crashes that come along with me as a pilot. You know what I mean? But look at this. I had no clue we had clay on our home island just right here. We're going to be able to pick this up. We wouldn't have seen that if we wouldn't have had the copter. That's what I, like, my, my biggest thing about this is I don't think this is going to be a mode of transportation for us. I don't think it's going to be something where we're like, oh, we want to go go to this island to get this this thing you just you don't really have the space for it you have what you can fit in your inventory and that's it i think this copter is going to be more along the lines of like go out and and scout and, and like maybe get some clay but like if we're going to get wood and everything we would take one of the boats you know what i mean so i i just i don't know i'm, I'm kind of excited about it i think it's gonna be pretty fun let's go ahead and drop that clay in there i've got a feeling we're probably not going to be able to find the clay again I don't really remember where it was. It was it was pretty tough to find. But yeah, this is cool. So we're going to see if we could find... Was it in here? Dude, it all looks the same. It was one piece. I'm not too worried about it. We're going to take this thing up again. It's early in the day. Let's uh, let's get out of here and go, go exploring. Another potential problem with this thing is running out of gas halfway over the ocean. <laughs> and we, we recently didn't... Dude, this is just so cool. I'm sorry. I just got to take a moment to appreciate it. We can like look all around and it, it doesn't turn with us, so that's kind of nice. It doesn't go where you're looking, it just goes goes straight forward the entire time. Can we see some sharks from up here? Could we get a harpoon gun and AC-130 some sharks? But yeah, dude, that's one thing that, um, like, we didn't, we haven't really, oh, I hear a shark. Where is he? There's no way a shark's gonna like come flying at us, is there? I'm gonna get down lower and see what happens. You guys see anything? Uh, but yeah, recently, I mean, we, we made our, our gas-powered boat, and obviously we don't really use that all that much because we have free wind power. I mean, it, it takes a lot to power these things, and this thing runs out of gas like crazy, dude. Are you kidding me right now? We're gonna need gas stations where we have, like, potato farms and... Ooh, what is that down there? Was that a fish? Where we have potato farms and, and things to, to make gas. We could have one on every island. That that could work. That'd take a while to put together for sure. But dude, I kind of want to see. I kind of want to see a shark from the air. I see stingrays and stuff down there. I'm both looking for clay as well as looking for uh, looking for sharks. Is that clay right there? I don't think that was clay. Oh, Mr. Sharkies. See more stingrays. Dude, this is just insane though. Like it's it's cool to have a, a change of of what's it called? Like a change a change of, of perspective. This is just modern engineering, dude. If you could make a freaking gyrocopter after being stranded on an island for two months, color me impressed. I'm tempted to go over here. I don't we're getting close to half on fuel. Do we really want to risk it? <laughs> I'm down, dude. Whatever. I think we is this I don't think we've been here actually. We can check it out. We don't, I don't think we really have a ton of time for daylight, but we'll check it out. 
We gotta remember how to get home. So back there was shipwreck. Dude, we're gonna have just enough to get home. Look at that bad boy. That's a big one, and it's got a little one next to it too. Let's get down, cut the engines, and we're gonna go exploring. Bro, this is so insane. I'm so happy right now. We are exactly at half fuel. Maybe like 10% above half. So we, we've got to be careful here. All right, we made it. We don't have a ton of daylight, so we kind of have to hurry up. I'm just going to drop all those. Drop these. Drop that. We don't need any of this stuff. We just need the knife. Knife and, and spears. All right, let's see what we can find quickly. I We just made it to a new island we've never been to before that easily. Like, that. this is insane. This is going to change the game for us to an extent. It's just the, the fuel situation is, is going to be a little bit rough. None of that stuff we really needed. Oh... Uh, can you fly in a storm? I don't know if we're gonna be able to fly in a storm, dude. I mean, I guess we're not, it's not gonna hurt us. It's not like we're gonna lose fuel having it sit there, I don't think. Pick up a crate, pick up another crate. But yeah, dude, this is gonna allow us to reach, reach new highs, literally and figuratively. We're gonna be able to go to new areas, kind of map out the uh, the map, you know what I mean? So it's it's like, we're gonna be able to see it from above. We're gonna have a better view of what's actually going on. I'm kind of excited about it. I cannot believe that we come out here and it starts storming. I, <laughs> we had some daylight left too. We had like two or three hours of, uh, probably one and a half to two, but we had a little bit of daylight left and we're, we're definitely gonna lose all of that. We're gonna check this wreck here. I'm a little bit, ooh, I'll take a jerry can for sure. I'm a little bit nervous to try to, try to fly home, but I also kind of want to send it. What do you guys think? This is an island that doesn't have snakes, so that's nice. We could hang out here for a minute, but I kind of want to send it. And that could be a really bad idea. Uh, I, th I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to loot this island. Shoot, the problem is, I'm not that scared to fly home in the storm, but the problem is it's either fly home in the storm or fly home at night. And I honestly don't know which one's worse. I have a feeling night would be worse because it's going to be harder to see. Because we don't... I mean, we don't, we don't have any reserve fuel, man. Like, it, we're, we're, once we take off and we go, we choose a heading and we go, and if we get it wrong, then we're screwed. So to be honest, we, we kind of need the line of sight. We need to be able to see where home is to, to be able to get there. We could risk it for the biscuit, but that also doesn't seem like a good idea. We could just stay here overnight. I don't like that idea either. So I I'm gonna do a quick run through here. I'm gonna grab all the rocks that I can, all the fibrous leaves that I can, because those are always useful. And then I think... I think we're just gonna head home. I think we're just gonna send it. We know the, the general direction. Where's our chopper? Over there. I've got a feeling I know I know the, the way to get back. So that's that's the, the shipwreck island. So home's gonna be that way, about. I don't know it exactly, but if we have that line of sight, once we're up in the air, I would think we would be able to, to kind of see it from a distance, but I guess technically, who knows? Just trying to max out all these crates that we can. Grab what we can and get out of here. Oh, we we brought a, a what's it called? We're in luck, baby. We brought our, our pickaxe, so we're gonna be able to mine this rock. Dude, this is insane. This is so cool. I'm, I'm in love with this. Our, our traveling and, and exploring just got upgraded to a whole new level. Don't mind if I do take all these rocks. All right, looks good. I am nervous about the whole sunset thing because it's happening. You can see the the pink clouds up there right now. So we're I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna grab the the last of these leaves. I'm gonna grab the there's one last yucca tree and then I, I think it's time to bounce. We just gotta find it. There it is. All right. I I mean I would venture to say as long as we make it home in one piece, this was a granddaddy of an episode, man. I feel like we've had some really good ones recently. And it seems like the storm is subsiding at literally the perfect time. Everything seems to uh seems to be looking up, fellas. We got scrap there. We want to make sure we pick that up. We, I just I don't I don't know how much of an inventory we're gonna have here. We need to consolidate. I feel like we have a lot of a lot of similar stuff. Yeah, like there's a shoot, dude. There's a battery here, so like the batteries can stack. We need to make sure we're we're taking advantage of that. Like there's a fuel part here that has to be somewhere. Yep. Put that there. Well, boys, we are making it out of here by sunset. I'll tell you that. And it look is it about to start raining again? Whatever, dude. All right, I'm just gonna put this stuff away and I'll see you guys in, in the air. All right, fellas, we're doing it. Here we go. Wish me luck. It's gotta be somewhere this way. It's, it's got, I don't fully remember which direction we came off of this though. It'd be smart. Let's, let's just go towards the, is that home there? Hopefully we see the light. That's shipwreck. I think that's home. We didn't go two islands past shipwreck, did we? I mean, we could go to shipwreck and then that's shipwreck. I think, I think this is home over here to the, or it could be over to our right. Oh shoot. I think it's to our right. Cause we always see, we always see that ship perpendicular to us. I think it's to our right. How's our fuel looking? <laughs> I swear if we run out of fuel and crash this thing in the ocean, I'm going to be so mad. I, this is home over here for sure. 
Can we glide? Like, is it, if we get a lot of altitude, can we just, like, glide down? I don't think it works like that. That's gotta be home, right? I don't see the light, though. That's, that's the concerning thing. It's not over there, is it? I don't know that this is home, dude. It is. I see the light. I think. That's L Island over there. This has got to be home, right? Yes! <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. It looks so much different at night. I couldn't tell. We're going to make it, boys. Oh. Whoa, what is... What's happening? What is that? It's glitching out on us, but we made it. Oh my goodness. I'm not even... Dude, honestly, it was so close. I'm not even going to try parking it on the end of the dock yet. I, we're just going to... We're going to set her down right over here. Uh, actually, you know what? It would be cool if you could park it on the dock. I just don't know that you can. So we're gonna... We're gonna try it. Looks like you can. That's how we do it, boys. A successful, slightly sketchy, but successful first mission. We'll take it. Dude, that thing is a boss. I'm so happy right now. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I'm gonna go drop all this stuff off, and uh, man, I feel like that gyrocopter was honestly one of my, like, biggest things. Like, that. that's really what I wanted to find. I felt like once I did that, I was not complete, but a, a, a big part was accomplished. So, it's, it's gonna be interesting to see where we go from here. I definitely wanna go and fight all the three major bosses. So I think those might be the three next things that we do. Apart from that, I mean, we can keep exploring. I don't know that there's any... I, we could build up our house. We could, we could, you know, just keep surviving. But I don't think there's any next big thing that we need to achieve apart from beating the bosses. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.